I've been an opera singer for 23 years, and I am not going to let lockdown stop me from performing. After this silly video that I made, I was shocked at the response. Suddenly we were almost at 400,000 views, and here we are again making another one. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Here, take this. Is the auto focus on? Okay, okay, we'll stop, we'll stop. My name is Christina Major. I'm 45 years old, and I'm an opera singer who is currently stuck in her home like everyone else. Welcome to the hobby game. The largest audience I've performed to to date was in Buenos Aires, Argentina. It's been fairly busy the past year and a half until all of the performances were canceled. Don't touch anything or anyone. I've got my life. <laughs> you suddenly are forced to find a different way to get that out and to connect and communicate. Ah, the world we live in now. The toilet paper aria was just a passing idea that I had. Toilet paper still continues to be a very hot commodity. In about five minutes, I threw together this toilet paper tiara made of toilet paper tubes and I just posted it and it just exploded that day. I had no idea this was gonna happen. I just, you know, went on and made the second video as a little follow-up in a way. I wish I had my professional makeup crew here with me. Hello. So the next installment from the Toilet Paper Diva is not going to be focused on toilet paper this time. It seems to be working. But I decided to actually send a more pointed message about isolation and what we all should be doing collectively to help each other. Yeah, those are going on mommy's costume. It's supposed to end funny. The message is wow. clear. You know, stay home, wash your hands, okay. care for each other, and use the time to, you know, be silly at home. Make make something of the time. Come here, look at mommy's costume. What do you think? It's beautiful. Oh. The continuity will be the toilet paper tubes still exist. Myself and a lot of other colleagues will continue doing these online performances of some sort. I think as long as we keep joy and laughter and hope in the mix in our daily lives, even if it's just for a few minutes, we will rise from this. And I believe that we're going to be better people on the other side of it.